Previously on Gears. We used to protect Cox settlements. Now we're about to raid one. <laughs> Raiding is what outsiders do. Lieutenant, you've been busy. Look, our village hasn't had power in weeks. We need this fabricator. I don't care about the goddamn fabricator. You're taking my people. What happened? The short version? The cop is on his way. You promised me you could steal that fabricator without provoking Jin. This has nothing to do with a the fabricator. Then what did you do? Jin accused us of taking her people. Yeah, whatever that means. Get the fabricator to the power station and install the inverter. You realize Jin's coming back, right? We need to leave now. Mom! Hey, listen. You need to hide, and then you need to run. <laughs> Look, you know as well as I do that he can help. Our village was attacked. And my mother was taken. Taken? Dad, you should look at this. Shit. Uh, guys? I thought you said you weren't running from a car. Yeah, that wasn't completely accurate. We need to get through that fort to the abandoned Osborne mine on the other side. A car dumped a few thousand locust bodies in there after the war. If your swarm's related to the corrupts, we'll find out there. I guess we're all alone out here. We definitely found where they're coming from. And where those snatchers are going. My dad's alive and he's down there.
paid for this. She can barely keep her eyes open. Don't worry about her. She'll be ready. Eight or nine minutes in. Nightmares. Does it get better? It gets tolerable. figured out they had a hammer My father, before he died, he let Baird in on a few cog secrets. In this island, it has plenty of them. Stay back! We're coming down! Guess who? Dave, send a pulse and let's see what we're dealing with. Ah, there they are. How do you want to do this? I'll take care of this one. Uh, only one left! 
means our burial site is active. Shit. Okay, Condor's in the air. Let me know if you need reinforcements. We get it handled for now. Delta out. Come on, we gotta find one of those silos. Assuming the swarm haven't ripped them all apart. Hey, I think we can get down this way. No. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, these headaches. I'm okay, all right? Let's just find a silo. For the record, you don't seem okay. I'll live. There's too many active hives. Everywhere we go, another burial site's hatched. All the more reason to get the hammer going alive. Let's hope Jin sees it. one of the silos, but it's wrecked. Well, there's two more. One of them's still operational. Hope you're right. We ended the war once on this island. When we get this hammer satellite up, we can do it again. That's the idea, old pal. Control out. <laughs> You guys go right, Marcus and I will go left. We'll find those silos. Sounds good. Stay in contact. You sure about this? Two silos, two paths. You got a better idea? Yo, hatch! Jump down. <clears throat> this looks like some kind of an exhaust tunnel. But is it from a silo? Only one way to find out. Sluice gate's our way out. Dave, can you get this open? Man, you know what? If they want to turn this place into a hive, let them. It's an isolated island hundreds of miles from shore. Uh-huh. Let's just make sure that happens after we leave.
Oh shit, carrier! Bro, we can use those reinforcements right about now! The Condor's almost within range, Delta. Okay, kid, reinforcements incoming. I've got Guardians or DR-1s. What do you want? down. Thanks for the help. Phoebe's, one of you secure the area. The other's with us. Let's go. Acknowledged. Whoa, Delta. What the hell did Dave do? Got a lot of strange data here. Top secret stuff. Uh, as far as I know, he's opening a door. He's doing a lot more than that. Well, either way, the door's open. Thanks, Dave. So, that data Dave just downloaded? There's a big hole at the highest security clearance. How does this relate to our mission? It doesn't, but now I need to know. I'm guessing whatever's missing was pulled from the network. Well, who'd have the authority to do that? Back then, uh, only the facility commander. Find his office and poke around. Okay. We'll go. Safe. Good place for secret data. Dave, get this open. Gotcha. Hey, Control. Good news. We found the data drive. Appreciate it, Delta. Hey, know what we'd appreciate? Some backup. What? Where are you? The silo. We found it. And they're all over us. Oh, shit. We're on our way. Show up. Oh, no problem. Is that rocket attack? It is, believe it or not. Good. Then find a port for Dave to plug into. If it checks out, he'll initiate the launch. Marcus, you know Jen pretty well. Just how angry is she gonna be with us launching this thing? Uh, I'd say somewhere between an ulcer and an aneurysm. I'm okay with that. It's all yours. Control, you're in. Start the launch sequence. Pressurized. First stage. Opening silo doors. Error. Error. Uh, Delta, we have an issue. The silo hatch. It's not opening. Of course. I knew that seemed too easy. Baird, options. Bug out. Blast doors aren't going to protect you from an exploding rocket. All right, then we call it. Let's go! Hydraulic external power to on. No! You get that hatch open. What? Kid, listen to your old man. You gotta get out of there. Damn it, we came here to do this, so let's get it done. Ignition test commence. Good luck with that. Let's get that hatch open. So what's our plan? I don't know. There's gotta be a manual override near the top. We'll find our way up. Take that! Bring it down, Dave! 
Uh, Tal, how many engines does a rocket have? Usually, four. Okay! Ignition, engine four. Oh, come on! God damn it, scam! We can get around, let's go! Ready for extraction. How about I see Jin first? I'll calm the storm before you brief her. I'm sorry, is this Sergeant Phoenix being diplomatic? You can call it what you want, but we're at war, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. We all have to be on the same page. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think it'll help, then sure. Wish you'd have been this willing to listen back at that silo. Hey, it worked out, didn't it? Listen, James, word of advice. Stop trying to prove yourself. Just do the job. Dad, I took a necessary risk. Necessary means you have no other option. That wasn't necessary. And you know it. What was that about? What do you think? Same thing it's always about. Hey. You know it's just because he cares, right? Yeah, well, you know a hell of a lot more about him caring than I would. Okay, um, yeah, um, we're just gonna go inside. Come on, Dave. That was a shitty thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. The thing is, you two are more alike than either of you want to admit. The data is in front of you, Damon. What? what? That's it? I thought the new satellite would automatically link to the old ones. He cannot find them. Without regular scheduling from telecommand, tracking accuracy degrades. 
Thanks a lot, Iris. Your vocal sentiment does not match your words' literal meaning. Thus, you are not actually thanking Please stop me. talking. So, I still can't find the other Hammer of Dawn satellites. On the plus side, I accidentally invented an AI that understands sarcasm. Here, that data drive you wanted. Maybe it'll help. Find lost satellites? I doubt it. But I'll take a look. Wait, hang on. Did we do all that for nothing? Oh, it'll fire. But with only one working satellite up, it'll be tough to control the beam. What's wrong with Dave? They've had a few problems. What kind of problems? Hmm. Uh, that kind. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. <sighs> Everyone, meet the new Jack. When the hell did you have time to build this? When did I have time to build this? This is what I do. I sit here making stuff you guys don't appreciate and inevitably break. Okay, so what's different about him? All new range of behaviors. Improved scanning, augmented combat and support modules. He's literally one of a kind. Uh-huh. And... And he's... all yours. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bazillion 40-year-old satellites to find. Damon, there are only 15 missing satellites. Thank you, Iris. More sarcasm to add to your growing library. Before we begin, Damon, the combat module you brilliantly designed is now ready. My use of brilliantly was intended to be sarcastic. Did I succeed? <sighs> Follow me. You'll want to equip this new module ASAP. It'll make Jack combat ready. Oh, I'm gonna dig this. Iris, activate Alpha 331. Certainly. So, say you've got a target that seems awfully comfortable behind cover. Jack's flash ability fixes that. Aim at the DB and activate it. See what happens. Test sequence complete. Huh, that could be useful. No offense, JD, but, uh, Jack's my new best friend. I'm very happy for you, for both of you. But now I need you to return your weapons to the weapons locker and get out of here. Are you trying to get rid of us? Oh, you noticed. Anyway, you can boost Jack's abilities if you find the right components. Before you go see Jin, stop by the armory. They might have one you can borrow. Oh, we will definitely be doing that. Good. Now I can get back to work. What Damon means to say is that he has more important things to do. Thank you, Iris. Bluntness is one of Iris's more commendable traits. I wonder where she gets that from. Oh, that smells... So, Baird, less I know you were kind of mad when Jen shoved you in here. How do you like it? Oh, I, I'm enjoying it. The workshop's quiet, peaceful. Damon is not being truthful. Shortly before you arrived, he was highly critical of the First Minister, referring to her several times as... Let's a... not get into specifics, Iris. Also, why did you tell him that? I detected genuine personal concern for you in Corporal Diaz's intonation. I thus judged it appropriate to inform her how you truly feel. Who? Inappropriate sarcasm. Incompetent nurturing instincts. Iris, are you sure you're not secretly my mother? So close to getting the hammer fully operational again. Damon, you'll be pleased to learn I've located one of the missing satellites. Iris, great news. Where? At the bottom of the Garosnian Sea, approximately 15 miles from shore. Oh. Apparently, it fell from orbit. <laughs> Your deductive powers are truly impressive, Iris. And you, Damon, are quite handsome. I intended that remark to be sarcastic. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Good to have them on our side again. Does Sam get down here much?
You know, uh, when she can. Damon and Miss Byrne are currently experiencing relationship difficulties. My god, I've created a monster. Oh well, Iris, go ahead, explain. Miss Byrne would like to commemorate their long-running but non-marital relationship with a tattoo. Damon, however, is frightened of needles, thus the impasse. I am not frightened of needles. Damon is exceedingly frightened of needles. In fact, I would categorize his fear as classically phobic. Baird, get a tattoo for your special lady friend already. Oh, Anything man, else man. you'd like to share, oh, Iris? Our love-making like make frequency, perhaps. I fail to see why that would be of any interest to your guests. Decorum. Amazing. Later, Baird. Come on, guys. No worries. Do your... thing. Come on! Hey, Foz! How's life in Jin's rear echelon treating you? Brilliant. But then we can't all be off on some secret mission. Oh, yeah? How'd you hear about that? This is an army, not a monastery. Yeah, okay. Well, look, we'll just leave you to the very important work, punching machines. And sparring. Hang on a second, shit stick. Shit stick? Del, theories? I don't know. Maybe a stick made out of shit? Or... Or a stick you use to stir up shit. All right, fuck off. How about we make this interesting? You and me, spar right now. And how exactly is beating you interesting? Yes or no? <laughs> you want in on this? Pretty sure what's actually being measured here is going to leave me at a distinct disadvantage. Then again, maybe not. Hilarious. Are you in or not? Oh, I'm in. Come on, man, let's just grab the jack component and get out of here. No, this will be fun. How's that fun working out for you? Try it again, Foss. Come on. Hey, here's the thing, Foss. The bottle spar with you, but not beat you. It's against their programming, but explain. Shit, false confidence. Quite a bit, actually. Want some advice, Phoenix? No, I'm good. Jin does love her golden boys. But never for very long. See, that was fun. Fuck off. All right, man. Now that Fa's fun time's over, can we go find that component? <sighs> okay. Come on, enough's enough. You gotta see someone about these headaches. I will. I promise. After we talk to Jen. Let me be perfectly clear. When it comes to this weapon, I don't share your optimism. It's the first time anyone's accused me of optimism. Yes, well, I'll remind you your wife refused the idea of bringing the hammer back online. I would have thought you'd respect Anya's wishes. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that, for both our sakes. Anya would have wanted you, you to- You don't get to talk about her. If that's what you think, I won't argue. You and that goddamn fertility program. A program that gave you your son. And mine. I honor Anya. I loved Anya. Oh. I don't care if you believe me. When my program was in its infancy, she came to me. She volunteered. Both times she volunteered. Seeing First Minister Stroud undergo treatment. Do you know how many children are alive today thanks to her? She should be buried here, you know, with the All Fathers. The people need her inspiration. Your inspiration was my wife. First Minister, Lieutenant Phoenix and his squad. Send them in. Ah, Lieutenant. I'm told you had a successful mission. 
First Minister, I can explain. By all means. Explain when Damon Baird superseded me. Explain how launching a Hammer of Dawn satellite doesn't require my explicit approval. Same page, huh? Mm. Lieutenant, the Hammer of Dawn has taken more COG lives than most of the armies we've opposed. Your father knows this as well as anyone. It's not the weapons I don't trust, First Minister. It's the people who use them. The Hammer of Dawn will not be brought back online. Ah, that'll be a report on the evacuation of Settlement 2. Settlement 2 is being evacuated? Why? There's been activity in the nearby burial site. Chief Carmine, report. Oh, we're under attack! We need immediate help! Please, slow down. No. Mobilize the 4th Division. We'll take command of the reinforcement effort. Do it. Go. James, we're getting close. Where do you want me and Kate? Main gate. Keep anything else from getting inside. You realize I'm the ranking officer here, right? And we'll reinforce Carmine at the town hub. I can't believe we're back here. We did our duty. You need to get over it. Get over it? Guys, not the time. Cole, let's see what we're dealing with. away from it. Oh, Delta, I was gonna do donuts around it. Be advised, Corporal. They're faster than they look. Delta out. <laughs> Evac convoy. Yeah. Lizzie's from the speed of it. You're the best driver we got. Rob moves. Yeah, she knows it. Come on, let's cut through this building. 
Everybody, stay back! They're coming in! Hey! Stand down, Private! We're geared! Oh, shit, sorry, Lieutenant! No harm, no foul. What are you doing here? I lost our DBs and we got civilians holed up in here. Lizzie, Delta requesting civilian pickup. Sector 8, apartment complex. Copy that, Delta. I'll circle back. Thanks for that, Lieutenant. No problem, Private. Come on, Delta. I took care of it. DBs, we gotta secure this street! Lizzie! Oh, man, sister! You are crazy! What can we do to help? Just clear this street, Delta. Otherwise, we're stuck here. Baird, we're assisting a stalled convoy. We might need reinforcements here. Roger that, Delta. Diverting a condor your way now. Phoenix, for the last goddamn time, I'm the ranking officer, which means I call in the reinforcements. Yes, sir. I, I will fix it. Round up those civvies you found. Delta, Carmine squad just got overrun. They're hunkered down with civilians inside the tower. They're not gonna last if you don't get there soon. They need you at the hub. Go! You can get there through the park. Gates by the steps. All right, you heard her. Let's move. Del, you're gonna be okay. You know, you might not have a problem with shooting innocent people, but I do. Innocent, huh? Innocent. So people throwing firebombs are innocent. Hm. Good to know. Both of you, knock it off. Wait. I heard about this. That was you three? Not three. One of us managed to keep his DBs under control. What the hell happened? We identified an insurgent element and eliminated him. No. You opened fire on a protest. Every herd needs a good culling. I know who I call from this herd. Happen, happen. Right now, we focus on completing this evacuation. Goddamn right. There's the hub. Dead ahead. Shit, Carmine is definitely in trouble. Shit, snatch it. That thing makes its way to the hub. Carmine's problem's gonna get a lot worse. Come on. Hey, Julie, take him out! Show these DBs how it's done. Clear the plaza. 
Kept a lot of people alive today, Sarge. Ha <laughs> ha! The grub killer returns, baby! Grub killer, swarm killer, whatever. Yeah, rescued by my old trainees. Uncle Clay! Yeah, and now I gotta get up again. Was getting worried. He didn't report back. Radio died. And these guys pulled me out of a jam. Guess I owe you twice, Phoenix. Now walk. Stim time. Fossil Carmine. Then we gotta regroup. Meet us at the theater. Welcome. See you there. JD, come on. Let's cut through the hotel. Yo, Jack. Give us some light. Oh, shit. We're losing a lot of gears. Phoenix. I made it back to my convoy. Gonna try to get these people out of here. Copy that, Lizzie. doesn't just shut DBs down, it turns them. What the hell, man? We're going in there, Del. Get ready.
Man, I can't believe this turned to shit so fast. Hey, Cole, Faz, Carmine, you think they're okay? I hope so. Let's get to Kate and Dad. Then we can worry about the others. Oh, shit. I'm going that way. Come on, this way. Shit, shit, shit! It's so fast! What the fuck is that? Who gave this shit? Just go! They're leeches, man! Just regroup with Marcus and Kate. Okay. Let's try this one. Uh, guys? We got a problem. A corrupted DR1? That can't be good. Look behind it. The evacuees. They're all dead. Let's just stay quiet and try to get out of here. Oh, God damn it! Kill that thing! Fight! It's done. Let's just... Let's just get out of here. Find the others. Hey. I think we can exit stage right. Baird, theater evacuees didn't make it. Cole, Foss, the Carmines, what's their status? Lizzie made it back to her convoy, but she keeps getting rerouted. Clay found a Raven out, but I can't reach Cole or Foss. You heard from them? No, not yet, but we'll keep looking. Control, it's Delta. You're breaking up. We're at the theater. Say again? You gotta get out of there, kid. They're letting the settlement go. Wait, can't we use the Hammer of Dawn? Not when I can't target the damn thing. Just fall back to the main gate. Baird, we're stuck on the other side of town. Phoenix, Lizzie here. You're at the theater? Lizzie, thank God. Affirmative. I've been diverted like six times. I can pick you up. Coming your way now. We'll be here. Delta out. In here, come on. Whoa, 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 it's us! 
We, uh, brought company. So, Dal, see any friendly faces you recognize? Maybe that's the uh, peaceful protester who broke my nose. You deserve worse than a broken nose. Why don't you show me what I deserve? Dal! Yeah, enough of this shit! You're a goddamn coward! A coward? Wow. Well, have I got news for Mars? Don't. Guess who ordered the first shot, Dal? Directly into those peaceful protesters of yours. I mean, they were throwing incendiary... The whole thing was confusing, all right? I, I didn't mean to... Have it happen. Never mind. Gaffer's here! Look. We can discuss this later. Come on.
did it work? Uh, Barrett! Barrett! What's going on? I can't control them. Iris, shut it down! Shut it down! God damn it! Just run! to you. How about you let him decide that? Hey, it's her. Her funeral. <laughs> Can't come here with cog weapons. Hand them over. You know who my father was, right? Who my mother was? And yet, you're the one in cog armor. Go figure. Man, we're not giving you shit. Just do what they say. You can pick these up on the way out. I'm through! He's out back by the steam farm. Try not to cause any trouble. That's up to him. You know, we've convinced a lot of outsiders to come over to the cock and fight, but I got a feeling this nut's gonna be a little tougher to crack. Yeah, I have the same feeling. I still can't believe that Marcus, Baird, and Cole were the ones who killed this riftworm. From the inside, with their chainsaws. Actually, I can't believe it. Stop carrying his water! Why do you think Norsko and Lena went north? Because they're cowards. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Oh, shit.
Yeah. Yeah. Let's just get to the steam farm. Okay. Hey. We're looking for the chief. Old guy. Smells like beer. You seen him? Kate. Uncle. A lot of cogs been out here to make their pitch. Never imagined they'd send you. Guess they thought you'd hear me out. And what do you think? I think you need a new decorator. Yeah, you're supposed to keep them away. How's that working out for you? Huh. Not too well. It's good to see you again, Kate. You too, Uncle. Now go pack up. You're leaving. Am I? Look, man, we've convinced every other village to enlist. You're the last holdouts. Cog, outsider, look, it doesn't matter. It's time to fight these things together. No. It's time we end this conversation. I'm sorry, young ones. You can find your way out. Uncle! My mother's dead because she thought we could make it alone. So go ahead, send us away. But if you do, I'll be back to bury whatever's left of you and the people behind these walls. And I think you know it. <sighs> Shit. How often do they attack? Lately, every day. They do that every day? No, they don't. Come on. We're gonna need more ammo than this! Grab what you can find! Until then, use knives, fish, anything Hunters. you got! Hunters. They've reached the lower wall! Help me clear them out! Hunting! Okay, Del! More of them coming in! Before we lose any more. Oscar, you gotta come with us, man. The people don't deserve this. Uh. Jack, do it.
Thanks, J.D., for coming here. Of course. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? Oscar's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her a minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Now we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. What? Something's, something's happening to me. It's your grandmother's? Enough. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Foss, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. No, no. <clears throat> 
Absolutely not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay. I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you're coming back to Noafira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain, screw your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Hey, watch her. Her necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yes, yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice. I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? us now. So what's in here anyway? A fast way out of this fucking place. Hey, if you want some time, you know, we don't have to leave right away. Yeah, we do. Okay, then we need some light. So you can drive? More or less. Here we go. Mark has just pushed Jack the coordinates for some facility up north. New Hope. New Hope? Sounds pleasant. All right. We should head out. It's a long ride from here. Hey, what? I'm glad you're here. Me too. Dow, it's been hours. Tell me we're getting close. Marcus's coordinates put New Hope in a valley up ahead. So we're close. So you haven't said a word in a while. How you doing? Oh, the good news is, uh, I'm starting to get the hang of this thing, which has been a nice distraction. Look, I'll be okay. It's hard to believe Uncle's really gone. Yeah, it is. Thanks for asking about how I'm doing, by the way. Thanks for driving. Exhausting as it looks. Very much so. Hey, I'm sorry for the way JD treated you back at the village. He's just... <sighs> no, you're the last person who needs to apologize for him. Yo, stop, stop! We got a gate ahead! And, from the look of it, this wall's pretty recent, too. Definitely new car. All right, let's, um, get around and find a way to open this thing. Look, JD kept a big secret from you. But how am I any different? You told us your secret. He didn't. Yeah. Right. Hey, out there. Is that New Hope? Nope. Marcus's coordinates are to the northeast. It doesn't look far. Just gotta unblock the skiff. You know what pisses me off most of all? Seeing JD pal around with Foz. Like, when did that happen? Jin's had him running missions together for months. What do you expect? Looks like a simple maglock. Jack can get this open. Jack, do the honors. Oh, 
surprisingly easy. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Hey, let's make sure we store a couple of weapons on the skiff. You know, for emergencies. New Hope. Here we come. I keep wondering about something. JD in Settlement 2. You think Marcus knew? What he did, you mean? Yeah. I think he knew. You saw how he reacted. I did. And it... Well, explains a lot, actually. <laughs> Kids, you read? Marcus! You back in New Affair yet? Just landed. Are you close to New Hope? Almost. Question. How will we know when we're there? Officially, New Hope never existed. It was disguised as Jameson Shipping Depot. So look for tracks and follow them. Tracks. Got it. Marcus, there's no facility here. It's all old growth forest. Trust me, it's there. So does Jen know about this place? Every first minister's known. And they all did the same thing. Posted guards and tried to keep it a secret. Secrets, huh? There's a lot of that going around these days. Let me know when you're getting close. Control out. Down. Storm's getting closer. Oh. Great. Here we go. Another cog seal. We're in the right place. Through here. Who could trust you now? Del. Pots. Outsiders, cogs, swarm. We're the only ones who haven't been here. Got something up ahead! Let's check it out! Inside now. Main building, I think. Alright, you're looking for a biogenetics lab. Entrance is a long hallway with a circular door at the end of it. Roger that. We'll let you know when we find it. Del, we got a way through here. Found your hallway and your circular door. Looks like somebody blew it up. Oh, right. That was me, actually. I forgot about that. So what now? Okay, look for another way in. The lab's filled with stasis tanks. That's how you'll know you found it. Stasis tanks. Got wait. What is that? We uh we might have a problem. Yeah, we definitely have a problem. Warden! Jack, shock trap! <laughs> it's down! Sick 
goddamn warden doing here? The warden means the swarm's looking to turn this place into a hive. Oh, shit. Let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. Dell, help me push this open. Uh, 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 that didn't feel great. Jack, give us light. Hey, kids, how's it going? Perfect timing, Marcus. Well, no lab or stasis tanks, but we're in some kind of prison cell. Prison? You're seeing stuff I never did. From what I heard, Niall Samson, ran that. Using the children of emulsion poisoned miners for experiments. We imprisoned and experimented on children? I warned you about what you learned there. You can ask him yourself. Wait, what? How is he still alive? He reserved himself as an AI construct. Find the lab. Find Niles. Hey, Marcus. Did the cog know what this Niles guy was doing? They shut him down. Eventually. Stuff like this is why I never trusted the cog. Not even when my wife was running it. Looks like Niles had a favorite test subject. Observation room. They were watching this kid. <laughs> this is disgusting. All of it. Yeah. Those poor kids. Marcus, who was this Niles? What exactly was he doing? Over my pay grade. But it had something to do with the locust. Which means it has something to do with you. Stasis tanks. Marcus, we found the lab. Good. But you're gonna want to avoid those tanks. Why? What's in them? The early and angry fruits of Niles' labor. They're called sires. Last time I saw them, they were a little... Moody. Moody. Great. Just find Niles. He should be close. So, you got any idea what you're gonna ask this guy? You know, about your, uh, connection thing? I think I might ask about the whole imprisoned children thing first. Okay, fair enough. And then? And then... What does all this have to do with me? All right, Marcus. We made it. Look for a switch to activate his AI construct. Then, put on your tinfoil hats. Marcus, that didn't work. What? <laughs> Listening. That's Niles, all right. Still batshit after all these years. Jack, get over here and pull whatever files you can. <laughs> oh, hello, naughty fellow. Hey, is Jack gonna get some weird virus plugged into the sink? I don't know. Just hose him down when you're done. Ah, oh, shit. Most of the files are corrupt, but several of them mention something called Kadar. That mean anything to you? No. It does to me. I'll have Bear take a look. What was that? Oh, shit! Come on, Jack! The final cleansing has it begun. May I terminate? No! Get it! Come on! As someone once said to me, night at night,
what I said earlier. New hope? <laughs> Not pleasant. Agreed. I think I've seen enough of this place for today. Or tomorrow. Forever. Let's get back to the skiff and see if we have a solid lead. Hey kids, you out of there? Yeah. Did Baird get anything out of that data? Plenty. Right before the last of the scientists left New Hope. Someone sent them a message from a lab in Mount Kadar, formerly known as Locust Central. Okay. I've done plenty of fighting in that place. This is the first I've heard of any lab. Well, that's good, right? For us? If you say so. Problem is, the message's origin point was scrambled. Okay, then. We tracked the message back to the source. To whatever comm towers it passed through. <laughs> Head out and see if you can find any towers to start the trail back. Okay, we'll do. Jack, see if this right. opens the gate. Unless you feel like walking to those comm towers. I'm gonna say no. Hard pass. And look at that. We got a comm tower up ahead. Fingers crossed one of those New Hope messages passed through it. Hey, look, even if they did, we'll need transmission data from two towers. One won't be enough to figure out where those messages came from. Then let's get started. There's one thing I keep asking myself. Why did JD change so much? Was it the coma? The guilt? Jen got to him. Made us seem like the bad guys. And promoted him to captain, which... What happened? I just never imagined JD was so... cock. Well, he is Ida Stroud's son, remember? And Marcus Phoenix's son. Yeah, can't imagine why that would give any issues. Come on, in we go. Think we got a clear path to that tower? Let's find out. And that wind flare? If we have to, we go through it, just like the last one. Marcus, we spotted a comm tower on a mountainside. We're on our way to it now. Roger that. How's the weather? What do you think? That bad, huh? Be careful. Control out. Get back! I'll be getting 
to see why no one lives up here anymore. Yeah, and if we don't keep moving, we're gonna die up here. Access data from the command console. You ready? Figures. The console's not working. Huh. There is power in here. Could be a blown fuse or something. We just need to access the circuit. Board. some kind of junction box up at the vents. Jack, get in there and restore the power. Good job, Jack. Let's get Jack connected to the console. Get in there, Jack. Mm -hmm. Transmission data before it locks us out. So, we scan for a transmission that matches the one we found at New Hope? Yep, that's it. Got a signal match. Northwest. It's another tower. So, can we use that data to find the lab? Not yet. We're gonna need that other tower to complete the trace. So what do you think? Should we update Marcus? I'll hail him from the skiff. Let's just get out of here. Turrets. Weird amount of security for a comm tower, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> You're asking me like I work here. One tower down. Yep. So time to find the other one. Sure you don't regret coming along? What? Are you kidding? I'm doing everything I love. Skipping. Freezing my ass off. I keep thinking about Niles. Those experiments. Man, do you know what the average person would do if they found out the little we already know? Probably why every first minister has covered it up. Even I know. She was literally the most honest person I've ever known. So what do we do? What do we tell? Maybe no one. What would be the point? The people behind all this are dead. So do what Anya did. Nothing. Marcus, we got part of the transmission data, but we need to find another tower. Good work. But remember, if there is a lab in Mount Qatar, it managed to stay hidden a long time. There's probably a good reason for that. Understood. We'll be in touch. Now, what if what we find... What if it's really bad? You do know it's probably not gonna be good. Yeah, but what if it's like, worst-case scenario stuff? Okay. And what does that look 
look like? Honestly? That Niall Samson is my grandfather. Well, I had a worst case scenario. You just topped it. All right, let's get to the tower and grab that data. I wonder how far that lab's gonna be once we isolate this location. With our luck, it'll be on the very top of Mount Kadar. Ah, uh, that's an unfortunate and almost certainly accurate prediction. Every time I think it can't get any colder. No. After all this, a vacation would be nice. I would not get your hopes up. There's our other tower. Looks like it's in relatively good shape, too. Then let's head to it. Okay. Question before we dig any deeper into this. Did Raina ever do anything suspicious? I mean, why does she even have that amulet? I'm thinking about that. There was a lot she didn't tell me. How she met my dad, why she never knew her own mother. All she'd say about her father was that he was bad. I know she grew up rough, but where she came from, it's a mystery. Obviously, she was hiding something. What? Why? Well, I hope we can find you some answers. Yeah, me too. Shit. Get behind something. Swarm ahead. Okay. We got a bunch of swarm on that ice. You thinking what I'm thinking? Time to go loud! Shut up! <laughs> these things up here than I was expecting. At this point, I expect them to be everywhere. You're probably right. Let's just get to the tower. Come on. I'll give you a boost. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. I could trust you now. I trust you now. Hey, what gives? Sorry, got distracted. Look what I found. Marcus, you know anything about a condor crash out here? Matter of fact, wind flares took out a few of them recently. Probably some useful shit on those things. Okay, got it. We'll take a look. Huh. I was expecting more DBs again. Maybe it wasn't a full fight. That or they wandered off. Del, you good? Well, I'm cold. Don't really know where we are. I'm generally kind of confused about what we're doing, but, uh, yeah, I'm good. What the hell was a warden doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Nothing good. All right, time to find out if we can go two for two on these towers. Man, I really hope we didn't come up here. Del. Rejects. Help me get this open. A similar layout to the other tower, at least. This should be it. Yeah. Use the console. Same as last time. signal match. That's got to be the lab. So we've got enough to find it. Got to run a formal trace, but yeah. You want to tell Marcus or should I? Let's just get back to the skiff. We can tell him on the move.
When we get to the skiff, let's tell Marcus what we're doing. Okay, but I got another question. If you did leave, where would you go? Hmm, pre or post swarm outbreak? Hmm, pre. Some place with a beach. And post? A bunker, five miles underground. Okay, you got room for two? Aren't you forgetting Jack? Yeah, but he doesn't take up much space. What about you? Where would you go? You know what? I have no idea. But I tell you, it'd be no snow. Marcus, we got a location. If there was a lab in Mount Kadar, we'll know soon enough. Okay. But I'll say it again. That mountain was Grub Central. We don't know what's there. Just promise that if you run into something you can't handle, you'll let me know. Appreciate that, but we're doing all right so far. Delta out. Hey! Our coordinates are coming up! There's nothing here. Yeah, I don't get it. Look, the data checks out. We're in the right place. Maybe Jack can. Pulse to be sick. Worth a try. Jack, pulse. Whoa. This is something under the ice. Nice work, buddy. That's gotta be what we're looking for. But how do we get down there? Not easily. Ice this thick, it's like concrete. I'm not sure if this helps, but Baird says there was an old mine in that area. Old mine? Blasting caps. Explosives. I'll push the coordinates to Jack. Thanks, Marcus. All right. I guess we got a potential solution. Old mine it is. Back here somewhere, right? Let's hope it's got something we can use. Oh, sure. But that really depends on the type of mining in that gauge. If they were doing hydraulic mining, we might find some high pressure water cutters. But given the environment, I bet it was some kind of subsurface extractive mining operation. Okay, all right, I got it. We're going down. There's the mine. Marcus, we're here. What do you know about this place? Let's see. Yeah, it's an old nethercut mine. Industrial, rare metals. The company got nationalized by the COG right before E-Day. So no activity since the war? No COG activity. Can't speak beyond that. Okay, thanks. We'll be in touch. <clears throat> Let's try down here. Okay, looks promising. I take it back. We got swarmed. Let's take them out. Careful on that ice. All right, they're done. Well, it's pretty clear they don't want us in that mine. Yeah, but we gotta get up there. Let's try that lift. Wait a sec. This was an outsider camp. Lena, Norsko, I bet they were from here. You could be right. But that means... That means we're about to have a fight on our hands. <laughs> What's up here? If what Lena Norsko said is true, this place got wiped out. Could be 
Midgarda. Phosphorus to oxygen or water, it ignites. And that could solve our ice problem. Then let's take what's left. Jack, do the honors. Oh, let's go melt some ice, shall we? We're not out of this yet! Jack, protect that fuel! Big go! We all go with it! Excuse me? Marcus. I'm telling you, this shit is gonna melt that ice. If you say so. <laughs> well, coming to this place was certainly a life experience. Feels like we're racking those up out here. I keep thinking about those poor people back in that mine. What you said in the tunnel. You're right. We should have found them. Yeah, but you were right, too. You can't help people who don't want to be helped. Like JD, for instance. Oof. Yeah. Like JD. You think he'll ever be himself again? I don't know. I hope so, but... I don't know. Jack, you good hauling that phosphorus? Glad to hear it. See? It's growing on you, isn't it? Jack's good people. You just filled his small mechanical heart with joy. Thanks for being here, by the way. If you weren't with me, this would be... It would be hard. Wait, are you thanking me or, or Jack? Jack? I'm sorry, wasn't that clear? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Marcus, we found phosphorus fuel. Dell thinks it'll get us through the ice. No, Dell knows it'll get us through the ice. Phosphorus. Be careful. It's nasty stuff. Yeah, that's the rumor. 
Delta out. You know, that ice isn't going anywhere. We could scout around some more. I'll take that under advisement. Oh, man. Now you sound like Marcus. No, this sounds like Marcus. I'll take that under advisement. <laughs> See? Subtle difference. Yeah. Very subtle. Okay, one small detail. Once we get through that ice, getting back up might be tricky. Then I guess we'll have to deal with that. Solid observation. All right, let's get this phosphorus cooking. Phosphorus. Fine, whatever. You said it feeds off oxygen and water. Yeah? Yeah, we're about to expose it to a ton of ice, which is... Oxygen and water. Yeah. Huh. It'll be fine. What are you basing that on? Thermodynamics. Reaction kinetics. Somebody want to let me know when this chemistry class is over? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Come on. Safety first. The lab's not far. Come on. Jack, you good? Some answers? More than ready. Well, one big difference between this place and New Hope. They weren't worried about getting found. No fake shipping depot in the front. upset about a pinprick i have sensitive hands proper identification is required for entry your entry has been denied good day oh uh, what niles is that you proper identification is required for entry proper identification hey you can give it a shot but it's gonna hurt more than you think 
Welcome home. Do you really require an explanation? I think I like the gibberish spouting novels more than this cryptic garbage can. Ah, I see you've met my vastly inferior construct at New Hope. What the hell? It's freezing in here. Goodness. Apparently, some of our cryojets are malfunctioning. There must be a fault in our system. You don't say. Of course, we cannot proceed until those cryojets are disabled. Would you mind, terribly? Miserable little garbage can, mother- Cryojets are probably powered like the turrets. Let's find a generator. Well done. Yeah, Jack's good. I've been meaning to reset those cryojets for quite some time. to you explaining this. Oh, nothing but the remains of an old industrial accident. Del, these tanks. Same as the ones at New Hope. Yeah, I noticed. Ah, yes. My work there began as an effort to cure children ill with rust lung, but it grew into something far more significant. The cog wanted medicine. I gave them gods. Oh, well, water under the bridge. This way. So after the cog shut you down, why come all the way out here? Our family needed a place to continue our work in solitude. <laughs> no way your family built this alone. I am quite certain you lack the necessary clearances for that information. This next area is quite fascinating. The path to every breakthrough is paved with failure. Here are some of our more unstable specimens. This breakthrough of yours, how did you manage it? One of the miner's children, as it happens. She was resistant to aging, disease. We raised her as our own. You may find this especially interesting. What is it? That is one of our first successful hybrids. Hybrid? You mean a locust? One and the same. In our previous facility, we had problems with genetic stability. The sires were distempered and sterile, a problem for obvious reasons. But the locusts were different, highly controllable, the perfect soldiers, and blessedly able to reproduce. What made them different? Their cells. You see, the emulsion miners' children provided a marvelous genetic repository, as did the indigenous creatures of the Hollow. In all of your genetic research, it's in here? Of course. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, Jack, Jack, come here! I need you to download everything off this terminal. Oh, man. I don't think I want to know what any of these file names mean. But when the extent of one very special child's genetic immunity to emotion became clear, our work began to soar. Please, go ahead. That, of course, is Mira. 
or as you know her, Queen Mira. You bred her with the sires? Nothing so monstrous. Her stem cells, however, were delightfully complementary to sire DNA. But we underestimated so much. Young Mira's strong maternal feelings, for instance. Let me guess. She led her children to slaughter you all. No, no, no. Well, yes. But I meant her more traditional maternal feelings. For her daughter. Little Raina. Your mother. What? You're lying. I am not. Your mother was born here, and taken from us by her spineless father, thus causing young Mira's unfortunate rebellion. Why are you telling me this? You have so many gifts, you do not yet understand. Hey, what's going on? He will kill you if he knows. They all will. What did you just say? Hey, hey, what are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? Kate, I am not going to hurt you. No? Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Hey. That would indeed sever the link between you and the Locust. Now, shut up! I won't let them do to me what they did to my mother. Your mother? And what did they do to your mother? In the hive. They changed her. It killed her. I killed her. But that is the process that allows them to learn, to grow. Without a queen, they remain unguided. See? See? I'm a weapon. No. You're not. Back in the village, when I was inside that snatcher, I was controlling them. What? I think I killed Oscar. Wait a minute. You think? Or you did? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Okay. And you're gonna stop it. And if I do not? Then we delete you and destroy every bit of your precious research. Then please, allow me to assist you. And we're supposed to just trust your good word here? You are free to trust or not trust whomever you like. But tell me something. Your mother and the Hive, did she resist? Of course she did. So I feared. Young Mira needed no such crude incorporation. Niles, tell me something. My grandfather. Who was he? One of my best geneticists. He fled with little Reyna because he no longer believed in our work. Did Mira know where he took her? I told Mira Reyna had perished in the escape attempt. I assumed that would end the matter. I greatly miscalculated. But it appears we have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right. Ah, he's done it. Your little friend is quite handy. Hey, watch the Textbook. Well, you do make a lovely couple. Would you please follow me? Almost there now. I'm curious. How does it feel to have your life's work turn on you? I choose to view it differently. The Locust longed for independence. Mira showed them the way. I have always been proud of your grandmother. I still am. What the hell is that thing? The matriarch was generated from your grandmother's stem cells. 
and Sire DNA. She amplified Mira's ability to communicate with the Locust. This device is where Mira first learned to control her power, but we can also use it to sever your link, if you choose. So how does it work? By mildly damaging your brain. What? By mildly damaging her brain? Her connection to the Locust is based on a genetic algorithm inside her temporal lobe. Altering that requires anesthesia, you could say. Sounds like a lobotomy. A lobotomy is highly invasive. This is directed. While I work, the matriarch will guide your mind, undetected, to where it must go. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. You are not doing this. I do not trust this can. Then watch him. But I have to do this. I'm losing control. I won't hurt anyone else, understood? Understood. You better. It wasn't really her, except... Except it was. 
Where is he? Emergency shutdown. In effect. Come on. He went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! After him! Get back here, Niles! God damn it! Shit! Surely you see I've done you a kindness. You are no longer vulnerable to the high mind and your mother has been awakened. Well, so to speak. Ugh! I'm gonna fucking kill you! I don't think he can hear us! I don't give a shit! Shit! We gotta stop! Look for a way through! I'm gonna make him play. You're not gonna do anything but freeze if we don't lift this lockdown! The matriarch is gone. Oh, I'm sure that's not gonna be a problem. Let's just find Miles. Come on. Freeing the matriarch was unwise. You will die. Which means you will never look upon the grandeur of your mother. Transfigured. I'm gonna kill you, Niles! You want to tell me what the hell Niles is talking about? Later, after we deal with Niles. Every child needs a playmate. Have fun. Del? See it, I see it! Oh, shit. 
This thing's your link to the fight. But get ready to switch off! It was real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us somehow. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here. got their queen. And Nas is right about what happens next. We need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the Hammer of Dawn. Oh, thank God. Looks like you need a ride. How'd you find us? You think I'm gonna give you a one-of-a-kind piece of tech without the ability to track it to the center of the planet? Yeah, yeah, fine. And speaking of one-of-a-kinds, help me hook up this skiff. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks. Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, no, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. <laughs> so, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the cog publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, some in our military tried to launch. It kind of triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. 
Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. Or weak. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and, uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one sure it doesn't work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw on that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird. Follow me. So a couple days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Show him what you got, Jack. <laughs> Figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of, uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Hey, Baird. What's this Guardian doing here? Oh, just sputzing around with its shield generators. Come have a look, Tilda. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly they were wearing armor, and they started making deeds. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but... Say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing. Could be something. Check in if you can. All right. But now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. So, I suppose you're curious about how Baird and I met. Yeah, sure. General Carr, 
Talvo Bay, the light mass missile. I doubt these words mean much to you. Don't be so sure. Well, it might amuse you to know. I fought for the Kog once, alongside your friend Bear. He showed me that not all Kog are bad. They're just mostly bad. Okay. Good talk. I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert maps. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. Never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Zapped and superheated by a lightning flow. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. Him? here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I don't blame you. So what does Jen think about you being here? Jen doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Bear. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? OK, man, before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. I haven't exactly been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best of All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the Nomads could use some help, too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's OK. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being all reasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Well, that was 
quite the welcoming party. Come on, let's get inside. Oh shit! More of them coming from the main building! Robbers! Keep him back! Let him have it! Done. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Let's get inside. Help me. So, where do we go? The place looked huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Hey, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. I reckon there's even more bodies beneath all this sand. <laughs> Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. Well, the lights work at least. And I'd say we found the rocket hangar. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, Baird. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Okay, Jack. Let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Ooh, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive. Semi-sentient. The work. Jack's got this. Right, buddy? Huh. No virus can stop, Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Pat it. I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Boss, you're bad, Gary. Did you read those files? No. Nah. I was born in New Ephira. My parents wouldn't even speak as far as I could be right now. Didn't want to seem indifferent. We could have hidden half a city in here. Massive. Yeah. Don't envy whoever had to build it. Okay, what now? Well, let's bring that, uh, platformy thing this way. It's called a gantry? Is it? Okay, Foz, take us across. With pleasure. One thing, Joe. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah. I led that attack. You did? Why? To destroy the cog. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the cog. Good to know, Paddock. This way to the satellites. Give me a hand. No 
satellites here. Let's keep looking. Paddock, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Deshinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. Man, look at this. Must have been quite a fight. It was. Paddock, you fought to launch the hammer yourself. But now you're saying it's a mistake. What gives? You launch, you buy us some time. But eventually they'll win. You must know this. No, I don't. <sighs> Doors welded shut. Then that's the door you want. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Here we go. All right, let's get set up. They're coming. Oh shit, we got poppers! Don't let them get too close! That was certainly a handful. And another news. Jack got the door open. Good job. <laughs> Just realized if my parents hadn't have left Vascar, my dad might have been here fighting off Paddock's men. Huh. You, Vascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. <laughs> then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? Okay, okay. Maybe it needs more of a shot. Satellite's sitting pretty on the nose cone. One down. Then let's get the gantry over to the other side. Right. On it. Okay. Let's go. Brace yourselves. This might be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching these satellites? Oh, shit! Warm on the other platform! Down here. Boss, get Swimmingly? Uh, no comment. Look for another switch. Just like the other one. Like of Done. That's it. All satellites secured. Back onto the gantry. Let's get him to the hangar. 
Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! Okay, let's get up there. Okay, so what about a car? Launching these satellites is a man. He's right that the hammer's dangerous. Believe me, get that now. Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me, a world on fire is better than the world they want. We get this thing back to the hangar. We worry about the rest later. Let's try this. Guys, our ride's leaving. Oh, damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. And I was just getting the anger driving it. Need a hand here. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone. Come on. Once we're back in the hangar, we can work our way outside. Okay, satellites are safe and sound. If we want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side. Okay, just so you know, whether we get the hammer working or not, I'm glad we can. Yeah, but if we don't get the hammer working, whether you came or not, won't matter. Just find a way back. Over there! Incoming! Uh. Oi! Uh. What the hell is that? It's a carrier! And it's not alone! Back up! Back up! Spread out! Bloody hell. Does every carrier burst apart like that? Yeah, pretty much. Our way out's above us. Let's get up there. Who knew putting a rocket together would be so difficult? Hmm. Let's see. Scientists. Rocket scientists. And anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? We just push a button mark for launch? Oh, awesome. Yeah, pick on the handsome one, cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Paddock, we're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes, it's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the handsome. Oh, dear God. Hey, Paddock. You still there? I got a question for you. No, I'm on launch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stops you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice. And spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Groznian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. <laughs> Alright, let's head out. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't network, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What do you say? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Uh, just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. 
Let's head for the bridge. So, this Paddock. How does Baird even know him? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it either. Cover navigation. Come on, let's get past the bridge and over to that turntable. Facing the wrong direction, which is why it's called a turntable. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now, how do we turn this thing? Start it by finding a control. Hey, it's warm. Perfect. <laughs> Like a control room to me. Now to access the controls. Jack, get that train pointed toward the hangar. Close. 
Oh, yeah, dude. space program stuff and I get out. I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple. And the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Well, guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The COG happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cult? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could write my ethnicity into the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that. All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. OK, Paddock. We're here. Listen, during our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? It's in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office. Jack. See if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facilities activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the city. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. 
That's not a good sign. Red condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. I can't believe Baird's simply a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. If we panic civil war in the weather, we could crawl in anywhere. <laughs> are okay. Come on. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Fira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. Well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably clear out the rest of the storm. He's lost some enough people today. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm not going to be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. You tell us. Get the other side. Well, Storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. We got swarms, people! Get behind those sand glass things! They're called poker right! Yeah, tomato, tomato! Yeah. 
something, Kate. I'm pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the call for compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. I'm saying it injured my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen, though. But there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the Cod border? Vascari technology, my friends. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. Okay, big fella. Let's get you aboard. I'll take the navigation. So our Paddock's Nomad's up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Bear trust Paddock, we trust Bears. So by the transitive property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr transitive, transitive what? Book spas. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. And honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. Hey, I've noticed something, that the swarms seem different. Smarter, more cunning. Yeah. Rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. That feels just ahead. <laughs> Work the skip as close as you can. I think it's kinda heavy. And so we meet again. That thing to Baird. Lead the way. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring, so I came out here. We should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait. If Bear's going back to New Affair with the Beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a raven about, I can fly us home. Oh, no. Did you crash a basic training? Oh, I had a slight miss. Yeah. Other one. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. <laughs> hey, Bear. Can we talk? Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Afira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I... 
Appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead. Installed. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird! Cancel class and get out here! Swarm coming in! Short version, it stops bullets. Now get up there and use it! Delta, come on! Come on, we still have shit to do in this bloody desert. All right, Delta, back on the skip. Children, more bad news, I'm afraid. What is it now? My people, transporting the other beacons. I need you to get to them immediately. Their convoy was attacked. Where? Close. Their last message was sent from the old city. All right, we're on it. Man, the nomads cannot catch a break. See that? Smoke up ahead. Shit. That's yeah, a convoy, all right. All right. Let's get in there and see what we can do. Look! They're still fighting. We gotta help them. on the beacons. Oh, well, they don't look damaged. It's it's in the dark. It's a borofal. It can do it. It can do it. Paddock, mate. You're hearing this. He says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry. They'll be well armed. So go. Deal with your rocket. All right. Delta out. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. Safe travels. You too, and good luck. So, what's the plan now? The hangar. It's time to put that rocket together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock's Nomads? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we'll own something for that. Sure, but if we don't get our rocket launched soon, it's not just Paddock's Nomads we'll be worrying about. I'll steer. Get the other side. Let's finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Hope? The satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Oh boy. Make them stay away. Never lost this rocket. 
And there we are. Everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. This better work. Paddock, rockets assembling. Look out! There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place! Oh shit! Snatcher's back! <laughs> Rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which means we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. Oh. And then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with the jack interface in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy.
Okay, this is what's supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. And there you go. One rocket successfully raised.
save you again, man. Wait, are you keeping score? So this is no affair. Home to industrialists, techno-fascists, reactionaries, and cowards. Yeah, also decent food, clean water, and showers. Eh, overrated. Delta, welcome home. Get cleaned up, then come to my workshop. I'll send someone for the beacons. Copy that, Baird. Off to you. Hey. Thank you, by the way. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Aww. Is the band back together, then? Should I take a picture for your scrapbooks? God, you're an asshole. Oh, stop falling in love with me. Honestly, it's embarrassing. So what's the deal? Are those satellites hooking up yet? Well, they're definitely buying each other drinks. All right, kids, gather around. And now, observe. Sure, a nice demo, Baird, but uh, is it gonna work? Well, for that, we're gonna need a test fire. Forget test fires. We need an actual target. Uh, if we're selecting targets, shouldn't someone with real military authority be here? It's Foz, right? <clears throat> yeah, yes, sir. Shut the fuck up, Foz. Yeah, sir. The Swarm have their queen. That means they've got a special hive somewhere. A nexus. Some place where they're vulnerable. Okay, so how do we find it? We don't. Because you might already know. How would I know? Look, I'm gonna level with you. While you were gone, Jin was raising holy hell about getting you hooked back up to the hive mind. I'm sorry, what? Don't worry, I talked her out of it. But I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every detail. Is there anything that helps us? No. I mean... I mean, I don't think so. We'll take it from here, Sergeant. Uh, excuse me, do you not knock? First Ministers don't need to knock. Really disagree. Jin, I told you, it's not gonna happen. And what about you? Well, considering the thing that linked me to the hive mind is dead, we killed it, by the way, you're welcome. And considering that I don't trust you at all, I'll have to decline. Arrest her. What? Jin, are you nuts? Ma'am? Iris, what's happening? Multiple security breaches. Old Afira ruins. External camera 16. External camera 15. Camera 10! Oh, damn it! They're here. Then we're going out there.
Yeah, okay, I get it. You can help us end this. Lady, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? Delta, gather around. Tell me we got a plan. We do. This is a targeting beacon. Yeah, no shit. We're the ones who brought him back from Vassar. Give me a break, Lieutenant. I just work here. The point is, we gotta plant these things all over the old city. Just handed Cole and Foz theirs. So, where do we plant our beacon? East Barricade Academy. Once it's in place, they'll have a live hammer radius. And you can start hitting back. We clear? Clear. I'm not gonna lie, it's real ugly out there. Then we watch each other's backs, like always. So help me plant this beacon down the street. Fed, Sarah's got rolling out with our beacon. See you on the other side, Delta. Where am I going? Panic, get your beacon to the Tomb of the Unknown. Pilot, take us to him, wherever that is. That's up, we got carriers! Delta, help my squad clear the area. You got it, Carmine. God damn it, they're right on us! Keep them off, Carmine! Beacon deployed! Bear, how long till I can fire Delta, we'll guard this one. Shit. Dead end here. It's just through that building. Don't worry, Delta. I got time for an assist before I run my play. Get up on that car, Delta. Cole, when you're done, get your beacon to its designated position. Thanks for the lift, Cole. Marcus got a bad bat. Least I can do. Baird, Echo Squad, Catland. Our Raven's taking fire. Just set down as soon as you can and get your beacon in place. By the way, that goes for all squads. We got a lot of heat signatures incoming. Ah, all this responsibility is why I the army. Get out there! Come on! Just in time, Delta! God damn it! We got a swarm at! Yeah! Plant the beacon! Let's use the hammer! Negative, negative! Delay that order! You gotta place it in the building across the yard! Are you shitting me? Why? We gotta maximize our coverage! That's why! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Alright, Barry! We'll get it done! Hey, Leva! Keep that thing busy while we get behind it! We'll go, Delta! I'll distract you! No! Come on, Don't you idiot! Get back into cover! So oh, that was a lot of work. It's format by the end. Don't let us play with this beacon. Hey! You heard it here first! The cold chain beacon is deploying! That's two! Nice work, old pal! They're running a satellite your way! We'll bring that sky fire, baby! Yeah! Got it! Now what do we do? 
Paint your target with that laser. The satellites will do the rest. Let's take them out. Delta, we've got swarm coming in from the... Ah, shit. Reinforcement grubs coming in.
That's it! They have been dominated! All right, we're done here. Paddock, you good? Eh, hey, I've had worse days. Our beacon's caught in the Raven wreckage. Maybe your toaster can get it down. I got it! Mm-hmm. I didn't know looks, right? Our plan was to place the beacon behind the tomb. So go do that, and I'll guard the front. Oh, and if I die, it wasn't terrible working with you. Likewise, Patty. Let's go, Delta. Delta, could really use an update here. How close are you to planning that thing? We're almost there, Baird. Okay. We gotta put this thing exactly where Baird needs it. Oh, 
Hey, what did she? I can't. I'm so sorry, man. Del. Del, I know. I know, and I'm so sorry. He was my friend, too. Yeah. Now we have to go. Jack. Lights, please. Done. <laughs> 
someone call for a ride? Gears, I need everyone back at the wall. Our beacons are down and the swarm's pushing through. Baird, Delta's on the way. Drive. So anyone knows the best way back to the wall? There's no best way. Just go, go. Then hang on back there and keep them off us.
doing down there? Get your ass in come on, come on! Railgun's gotta recharge between shots. So get on a turret and hold these bastards off! You heard him, Delta! Take out those blocks!
She'll be back. I know. But not if we find her first.